I'm here to give you guys an unboxing slash review of the JBL Tune 500BT on-ear Bluetooth headphones. Let's go ahead and get this review started off by reading the front of the box. JBL Pure Bass Sound, hands-free calls, multi-point connection, meaning that you can connect it to multiple things at once and switch between them on the fly, lightweight and foldable design. Also on the bottom right of the box it says five minutes equals five minutes of charge time equals one hour of listening time. Uh, total uh, listening time will give you 16 hours with these headsets. Now as far as the physical buttons on these headsets, you get your uh, skip backslash volume down button, you get your skip forward slash volume up button, and you get your play slash, uh, or you get your play pause and uh, answer call button. And as you can tell from the top left side corner of the box in the front, I got this for a discounted price at Wall Misery. And that's only because at the bottom left side uh, of the front of the box, there's like a little rip. So, you know, I got a little bit, I got $12.47 off. So let's talk about the first thing, main thing that you're picking up headphones for is sound quality. If you go look at Amazon, this thing has nothing but mostly all five star reviews. The overall review count is five, is four and a half, almost five stars across all reviews. Um, these do give you across all different levels they give you a decent sound very well across all levels the highs the lows the mids also is advertised to give you you know good bass you know these are supposed to be meant for decent bass when it comes to listening to music and things of that nature as it says on the front pure bass zero cables so how is it with the bass i say it does a good job with the bass um when i first was listening to them i was expecting a little bit more especially with the advertisement right there smack dad on the front of the box especially especially them being jbl i was expecting a little bit more bass but as i continue to listen to these and work them in and get them warmed up and you know just listen to, using them on the you know regular basis the bass is pretty good even with the volume all the way up none of the sounds get distorted or sound kind of muddy or weird or anything like that it does a good job with the sounds and you know i've been listening using them with music and gaming and editing and stuff like that now back to the bass real fast a little bit um these are not something that's gonna you know be beaten and stuff like that like skull candy crusher headphones so i got the review coming too so be looking out for that i will say this if you're getting into your first pair of headphones uh bluetooth headphones these are definitely when it comes to the price range and the usability and the things that it could do and does do um I'd say these are a very perfect start. Me personally, um, I typically don't really buy Bluetooth headphones. It took me a long time to even get into Bluetooth earphones. Cause me, I'm 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 old school when it comes to certain things still like like music. I don't play around with that. If it's gonna like when they first started introducing Bluetooth headphones and earphones, I was like, there's no way in the world there a uh, signal that's carried across the air is gonna sound nowhere near as good as a wire plugged up to a headphone plugged up to the device nowhere near so it took me a long time even to get into bluetooth earphones but i got into that so as far as the connectivity when it comes to bluetooth when they are connected properly um the audio picks up real well nothing is off or anything like that but i did experience a couple of times a few times a handful of times when switching between different devices or even sometimes when i first turn the headphones on um and sync it to whatever device i, I sync it to the audio kind of be off a little bit like i'd be watching like youtube and like the, the 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 sound doesn't go with the lips and stuff like that so i would have to turn off the headphones and turn them back on and after that it works flawlessly but when it comes to issues that's the only issue i have you know when it comes to these headphones but the sound that these produce is very good i even seen amazon reviews where people saying that these are better than the on-air uh beats you know headphones i personally don't think it's better than those headphones i personally never own you know any of the beats headphones and stuff like that another good point another good thing about these headphones is the um different ways they uh fold the different articulating angles of these headphones make them very flexible literally and metaphorically speaking as far as this land inside bed you know watching tv with these on or just with on my phone laying back on the couch just with these you know on and just the fact that these ear cups move around and fold around you know it takes a lot of strain off the different joints and stuff like that when you're using these and when you're having them around your neck you can fold them down so you have to worry about being inside the side the way of your chin when turning these headphones on it gives you a first initial sound and you know that the uh bluetooth headphones are on and then after that it gives you an additional sound 
a few seconds after that to let you know that it's connected to whatever device you have it connected to. Also, it took me a while to find out how you charge these. I'm just looking all over the headphones. I'm like, how the hell, where the hell is the charging port? So if you actually flip the headphones in a little bit, you see on top of one of the ear cups, the right ear cups to be exact, um, there's a charging port right there. The cushion on these headphones is pretty decent, not too heavy. Um, they don't really need much cushion on these headphones because they're light anyways. And you know, I just like how small they are. I really not, I've never really been a big fan of on ear headphones. I don't like my headphones on my ear. Sometimes they hurt after a while. Um, I like over ear headphones, but these are very comfortable. I love headphones that's made with this material ear cup. Every time I see uh, headphones with this type of material, like they look like a black plastic bag, it kind of reminds me of old school headphones. Every time I have seen headphones with that type of ear cushion, they always have been good. And I always, they just remind me of, you know, those old school studio headphones. Last but not least, why did I buy these headphones? What have I been using it for and what I'm gonna be using them for? I've been using these to edit and stuff like that, using them as far as connecting them to my uh, iPhone, you know, listening to music, and they sound nice and crispy. Like I said, the sound is real good across all different levels and the bass, you know, even though you probably be expecting more when you first listen to them, but you appreciate more as you continue to listen to them. I even connected these to my uh, Alienware gaming laptop and it did a good job with that, staying connected, you know, no latency and stuff like that. One of the purchases I made this year, which I'm hella happy about, I'm, I'm mostly happy about the price. That's the number one thing I keep on getting happy about. I got another video, one more video coming when it comes to that laptop. Also, it was just around a grocery store using these recently, just walking around seeing if it use, loses any connectivity when it comes to other being around other Wi-Fi devices and stuff like that walking around Walmart walking around food for less things of that nature and it did a good job so what made me buy these headphones why why did I end up getting these even though I also have the Skull Candy wireless headphones why do I have these so basically I went to Walmart I was hoping that this was around Black Friday I think it was actually Black Friday or the day before or the day of or the day after somewhere around there but more than likely it was a day of and I was wondering like okay I'm gonna go to Walmart and stuff actually no it couldn't have been a day of because i was working a day of but um anyways i was going to walmart i was like you know what i hope hopefully they had these skull candy headphones because i'm very very overdue for them um if you look at my skull candy wireless headphones review you'll see that i'm very over i was overdue for another pair of headphones like definitely i didn't like the price that walmart still had them amazon had them for a little bit cheaper but still not the price that i was really really ready to pay at the moment and Walmart still had them for a little bit too much. So anyways, I was exiting the store and on my way walking out of the uh, electronics department, I seen these for a reduced price. I'm like, oh, okay. And when I looked online at that moment, these were still 50 bucks. But if you go look online right now, better yet, click the link inside the description that I provided for you guys if you wanna, if you're interested inside these, which will help me out if you decide to buy these. Um, they dropped in price permanently, I believe, by $10. So now they're brand new for $40. So you can get these for around the same price I got them for. I got them for, I might as well say, 40 bucks after tax. And for what these offer and what these deliver, especially with the uh, calls and stuff like that, you can answer calls. It's also compatible and can be utilized with Siri and Google Now. So for what these give you, it's a very good price. And for the reviews and the uh, amount of reviews it has, positive reviews it has online, I mean, it's a no-brainer. And then the only thing I'll say that I wish it would wish it had, which would be kind of asking for too much, but you know, just a little option for a, a auxiliary cable, you know. Um, but other than that, these bad boys, you know, not bad at all. So if you're looking for a decent pair of on-air headphones and you want to get into the realm or you're inside the realm of Bluetooth headphones, you want to, you know, up your arsenal, just add to your arsenal of headphones and just have something that you can use every day and just, you know, to take a take a break from your expensive stuff or you want to be laying back in bed and you don't want to have your expensive pair of headphones on and, you know, accidentally fall asleep and probably lay on them the wrong way and break them, bam, here you go. You know, these are uh, handle I think these are handle being laid on and you know because they because the way they bend and stuff like that but so with that being said people of youtube thank you guys for watching this video brought to you by the iphone 11 4k 24p gonna film the next probably 10 15 20 videos uh on youtube with my iphone and just see you know just to see how it looks and and see if i want to use my phone for unboxing videos and vlogs and stuff like that so for everybody that's been subscribing thank you guys for subscribing thanks for all the comments and all the love and support and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace